if one day everyone left their home without their mask and refused to put one on when prompted, that would be it. The system would have lost its power and the government and the media could do nothing but watch in horror as life instantly returned to normal. Thus, the government and the media have to carefully stage manage such a contrived crisis in order to prevent the public becoming non-compliant en masse. This is why the establishment always sells us the restrictions piecemeal. It's always a case of two weeks to flatten the curve. It's always just one more jab. It's always just another week of work from home or just an extra fortnight of mask wearing. And these piecemeal restrictions are always sold to us with plenty of emotional blackmail. Protect the NHS, save lives, and we're all in this together. The fact is though, these brief glimmers of hope that we are constantly teased with are like a carrot on a stick. And we are the donkey, being led down a road into ever worsening conditions in the vain hope of getting a bite of a carrot that in reality is always just out of our reach. And what's worse is the further down this road we travel, the more we get used to these restrictions and sadly the public becomes willing to accept both more and harsher restrictions. One minute we are being told to wear masks, the next minute somehow we have ended up with health passports and the specter of forced jabs and vaccine mandates. This is the slippery slope and the government and the media have stage managed all of this so that those who are reluctantly complying continue to go along with the plan until it's too late. And this is why we must keep fighting this tyranny. This is why we must fight for every inch of ground. It's why we must battle hard to ensure that we get as many people as possible who are reluctantly complying to stop complying.